Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Komi Can't Communicate episode number 7. Alright, the previous episode, um, we had a little outing with Komi. Komi and her friends went out to uh, buy dresses and this was the first time Komi actually goes out with her friends to buy something for her because usually her mom buys the dresses that she wears so there was the first time and like you know they had a little bit of a competition kind of like you know they were voting and everything whose dress uh was the best and Tadano's dress came out to be the best which was perfect for Kobe. so by the end of it Komi ends up buying that and it was a nice little section of you know Komi hanging around with her friends and yeah that was a nice little part and then we come to the hairdresser part where Komi goes to a hairdresser which she frequents and there's a new employee there who doesn't know anything about Komi. So she felt a little bit awkward actually like you know talking with her but she did not answer properly. She was like oh did I mess up something like is it, is it my fault? <laughs> but by the end of it Komi kind of expresses her gratitude in her own way and yeah that was like you know like everything was well and good after that. And the final section where we go to the library, to the school library to uh, study for tests. Unfortunately, um, <laughs> Najimi was messing around with all the stuff that she was doing and <laughs> she got kicked out. <laughs> While like, you know, Komi and um, Tadano kind of got a little warning. <laughs> so yeah, but Komi had fun and by the end of it, everything was all well and good. Everyone did pretty well in tests. Najimi, even though she barely studied, she, she She's intelligent and you know like so that's why she she was able to easily get pro decent marks so yeah that was that and then the final section we come to like everyone like najimi calls them and asks them if they're going to go to the pool so this episode i'm guessing this will be a pool episode because it's summer vacation summer vacation equals to either beach or the pool and probably a fireworks uh, episode which is i'm sure it'll come either this episode or the next episode so we'll see so yeah without further ado let's get started this is Komi can't communicate episode number seven so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go the day to go to the pool has arrived. Okay. <laughs> it's a little hat and... Oh, is this Tadana's dress? No, no, it's not. <laughs> Seventh time. Um, yeah, this is kind of relatable because... <laughs> I remember myself doing this as well. You know, like checking the bag continuously. Oh my god, she'll start checking the bag again. <laughs> okay, Yomi Kitty Land. Five minutes past. Did oh my god, she came here so early. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's okay. There they are. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is the one that Tadano chose. Okay, for a moment there I thought it was not. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god, Najimi. As rowdy as ever. <laughs> what is it <she> doing? <laughs> okay. Okay, I wonder who else she has called. Like, Tadano is here, Komi is here. So I'm guessing she also called Agari and maybe Yamai as well. Yeah, probably those two are the only ones who are going to come because they seem like, uh, like you know, kind of like more into the gang than the others. Like you know, like than the um, 
Nakanaka and uh, the other girl, uh, um, what was her name? Uh, Makeru. Like, I feel like Yamai and Agari are a bit more closer to them than the other two, so probably they're the only ones, or uh, let's see, like. But in the opening, we see a lot of characters, you know, in the pool, so like this one. So, <laughs> um, probably she called everyone, let's see. I'm quite sure she called Agari and Yamai. That's that I'm quite sure about, but I'm not sure about the other characters. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Okay, there you go. Agar is here. Um, what is happening? Okay, there she is. Oh my god, everyone's here. What the? Wait, what? Oh. She brought the whole gang with her. There's a lot of characters we don't know that much. Oh, Sonoda, Chorai, Shinobino, okay, Shinobino. <laughs> she's, I think she's quite happy because she has so many. Oh, okay, that as well, all right. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> oh <laughs> all right um wait yeah well her gender is ambiguous so we still don't know who, like <laughs> i wonder what okay let's see Hmm. Wow. Okay, you have too much free time. <laughs> or maybe she wore it in underneath. I think she wore it underneath. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> the face. <laughs> Probably. Okay, there you go. <laughs> all right. Damn, they're all like lined up. What the? <laughs> okay, I'm quite interested in seeing. Okay, there you go. He or she? <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's what they're doing. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, let's see Yamai. The night girl is also here. <laughs> wow, this guy. Okay, there she is, Komi. All right. <laughs> I'm sure she's feeling hella awkward. Like she's not accustomed to any of. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, understandable. <laughs> oh my god 
Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, yeah, enough is enough. Just go. You're holding the line back. Oh my god. I, I got, uh, Yama's going to kill him. <laughs> Understandable? Oh! <laughs> oh, she wants to go again. <laughs> Four more times. What the what? Was that Agari? Yeah, oh my god, she's <laughs> barking. Oh my god. Juice from the rest. Wait! <laughs> he has a. What the? <laughs> Here goes, she's going to win. What? Oh, they're making a laugh. Okay, okay, I understand. You're disqualified, dude. <laughs> well, there you go, Komi. Nine cans of juice. Sports drink. <laughs> what? Where is everyone? What the hell? <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh no. Mm, yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah, awkward. Understand. My... Wait, what? Yeah, she, she feels like she's inconveniencing everyone. Oh my god. Don't worry about me, okay. Um... Wait, what's happening? Why is Najimi acting like this? Uh... Well, okay, she's... Okay, yeah, yeah, she's kind of right, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, she's... Oh my god, okay. Well, you do you, I guess. <laughs> but still, you know, like, I understand what um, Najim is saying, but, you know, I still feel bad. <laughs> she seems back. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, nobody feels Wow. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. No, she probably asking. Okay, no. All right. So much fun playing with them. Well, ah, wait, how did he? get that amount of range oh they're, oh they're close to the pool okay <coughs> yeah you can just like you don't know, dip your leg and just sit down i guess like instead of just instead of swimming yeah that's what i'm saying like, you know just you know, walk around <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> All right, yeah. What the hell is that? Agar is just taking the <laughs> my god uh. what <laughs> okay yeah <clears throat> oh my god <laughs> whoa she has like a metallic arm damn um i'm talking about the night girl shaved eyes <clears throat> Um <laughs> Wow What the <laughs> Wait is this a dad? Oh, yeah Oh the dad is all quiet like the Okay I understand Somehow they agreed. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> All right, shave dice. <laughs> I I'm I wonder how they're going to order. I really wonder. I wonder how they're going to order. Let's see. Oh, we can they can just point, you know, just like how sh she did before. What? Um. <laughs> uh, fighting. Okay. <laughs> Green tea, strawberry milk. Okay. She's waiting for <laughs> oh, order come. He invited her so they can talk. Okay. Damn, that's a huge bowl. What the? Finally, it arrived. Oh no, it's quite small. Never mind. 
It looks big now, but <laughs> then it looks small. <laughs> Perspective, I guess. Um. Oh, sh okay, he's talking. Uh, what? <laughs> Dad, you messed up my hair. <laughs> Damn her hair. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy. The library. Okay, here we go. We are at the library. I'm guessing Tadano and everyone is here or something. Or maybe. Maybe. Uh, did she come here alone or did she have plans with others? Oh, she came here alone. Huh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> She's like, oh, am I bothering everyone? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Decided to read the book. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Look at that face, <laughs> huge eyes. Um, okay, enough with the staring. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa, Tatan is here. <laughs> wow. Okay. So she was able to... Oh, never mind. <laughs> he forgot to read... Okay, well. You need to go back again. The park. Hmm. Okay, what should we do? Have a little swing? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I remember I used to be so scared of slides. I don't know why. Like when I was a child, I felt so scared of sliding. I was like, damn, like... This is so high up. Should I? <laughs> I was also scared of the jungle gyms. Like, damn, I was I was like a little wimp when I was a kid. <laughs> the only thing that I rode was like seesaws and um, swings. That's all I did. Oh my god, Tana, <laughs> he's there at the most <laughs> perfect time. This timing is amazing, wow. <laughs> okay, he's like, yeah, another, another rare moment, yeah. Oh wow, okay, well. 
all right that, <laughs> that was nice okay so uh, i don't know if we should call them friends of komi because they did not have one-on-one -on -one interaction i'm talking about the other people you know the the ninja guy and the other guys and then the girls as well the night girl and all of them they did not have one-on-one -on -one conversation with komi but they were there so i'm guessing technically they are friends but they're still not friends in a way you know they're they're probably friends of friends yeah like they're not komi's friends still kind of but they're friends of friends which i'm sure in the future episodes like you know they they are going to talk with komi and interact with her and then they'll probably become official friends <laughs> okay i kind of feel bad for like you know uh like i, I would have loved if uh makeru and uh nakanaka was here as well uh, i'm sure we'll get more episodes with them <coughs> oh the wait a minute just a sec i'll, I'll check that portion out again Wait a minute. Um, the ending. Um, the ending classroom. Okay. Yeah, everyone's here. Okay. So I guess technically they are friends. I think, but they did not have proper conversation with Komi. So, hmm. Who knows? But yeah, I can probably call them not friends but acquaintance. Yeah, acquaintance. So. Okay, so this episode, uh, the first portion, uh, the most, the, the biggest portion of this episode was the pool portion, where we see Komi going to the pool and having fun with uh, everyone. So here, um, <laughs> we see Komi <laughs> kind of going through her stuff again and again, and you know, like the stuff people do when they're kind of excited and. This is the first time that she's actually hanging around with people. <clears throat> people her age. So. Okay, so now here's the thing. I was kind of surprised at seeing all the other characters suddenly popping out. And I'm like, damn. So like. <laughs> like, yeah, like if you think about it like that, they are like, you know, like classmates. So I guess they are friends in a way and even though they don't have any like you know they did not have ever any proper conversation with komi you can call them acquaintance and they're yamai's friends so i guess like you know friends of friends <clears throat> and i'm sure in the future episodes we're probably going to get acquainted to each one of them <clears throat> individually <clears throat> that's when they'll become proper friends with komi <clears throat> okay okay one thing I was unable to realize when I was reacting to it. I thought um, uh, uh, Najimi called Yamai and Yamai brought all her friends. But no, it's actually now that I'm watching that scene again, it's actually Yamai was because Yamai was stalking her. She, she knew that she was going to the pool and that's why she decided to come and bring all the friends with her. Like Najimi did not in invite Yamai, but she ends up coming anyways because you know she's stalking her <laughs> okay now here's the thing uh let's check out the different characters names um sonoda onigashima jorai onigashima okay uh wait a minute sonoda sonoda let me see the name i i'm, I'm not able to understand what sonoda what is sonoda what does it mean Sono let's see if these characters have any um wiki page okay sonoda has a wiki page i can see okay his name is sonoda taisei okay what is this word play about uh sonoda taisei oh there's nothing written uh there's nothing written unfortunately i'm unable to figure out what his name you know like actually Sonoda Taise Taise Is it something with her his uh like you know him being fit and healthy? Is that what I think it's it's probably something like that, a wordplay on that or something. I'm not sure, but it's probably something related to that because we kind of saw him like you know, like he's 
pretty chiseled <coughs> it kind of works out i guess <coughs> okay that was him uh then onigashima onigashima like it's uh wait just a sec uh onigashima uh onigashima let's see if he he has uh yeah he also has a wiki page onigashima akako Oh, Onigashima is a girl. Okay, Onigashima is a girl. Uh, Onigashima, that's an interesting name. Onigashima Akako. Aka is red. Onigashima is the Onigashima, just a sec. Let me see. Uh, her name, Onigashima Akako, means red girl from the Oli Island. There you go. <clears throat> Onigashima, Oni. Uh, uh, Oni is an Oni, you know, like a demon or whatever. Uh, Gashima, Shima means uh, island. Like Onigashima, island of the Oni, and Akako, Aka red and Ko girl, which is a reference to the tale of Momotaro. All right, interesting. That's that's the name, uh, meaning of her name. Okay. Uh, then uh, the other person, the other one is Chorai. Okay, Chorai. Let's see, it's Chorai. Uh, no. Chorai does not have any page, any wiki page. Okay, uh, Shinobino. Now, obviously, Shinobino, we can guess what it means. Shinobi is a ninja, and no. Okay, let me check if he has a. <laughs> Shinobino Mono. Shinobi no Mono. Okay, one of the ninjas. It's probably the draft translation is like that one of the ninjas or something like that like shinobi no mono or one of the ninjas something like that let's see his name is the homonym for the phrase shinobi no mono meaning a person in hiding oh, okay okay uh, shinobi no mono is a historical term for someone trained in stealth to act as a spy either as a saboteur or an assassin which is pretty much um like you know like understandable because of his appearance okay um his uh, the other guy his name is not chorai his name is chiarai okay I, I i was able to find his page his name is chiarai there's a little translation error i guess there uh chiarai shigeo chiarai shigeo uh, okay now I feel like these characters will be kind of like a background characters that will be there but will not have any proper acquaintance with them. I think I feel like that. So we'll see. Okay, so wait a minute. What's what's the night girl's name? They did not mention it here. The night girl, what's her name? Uh let me check if Kishi Himeko, okay, that's her name. Okay, which is obviously, uh, like, you know, his, her name is, can be understood from, like, you know, her, uh, the, the meaning behind it. Kishi is a knight and Himeko, like, a princess? Is that what's... Okay, her surname, Kishi, can mean knight. And Himeko is also, has a... I think something like that. Kishi, Kishi is, like, you know, like, knight. Himeko... Himeko, like a princess, is that what? Hime is a princess and Ko means a girl, so something like that, I guess. So, yeah, so these are all the characters, their names and everything. And I feel like they, they will be like the background acquaintance characters. I don't know why, but because they are not given, or maybe we're going to get introduced to them in the future, but we'll see. <clears throat> but all right so that was it uh that was their names and everything we made these new characters and we kind of got acquainted to them a little bit so all right here it is so komi never went to the pool before with her friends so obviously she has the school swimsuit but yamai is like you know what yeah i should not let her show her vulnerable sides to everyone so yeah let me just buy a separate swimsuit for her <clears throat> and yeah and then like all the guys were like oh 10 points 10 points and everything now here's the thing um we we're still not sure about uh, najimi's gender and i think it will probably be like that ambiguous 
for probably the whole manga and who knows maybe when the manga ends they're probably going to i'm not even sure if they actually uh, revealed her gender you know like the manga is quite ahead so i'm not sure if we we're still in this ambiguous state or they actually revealed what her gender is uh so <clears throat> who knows and if they have not i think probably it'll be something like you know something that they'll do probably reveal it at the end almost like you know like when the manga ends they're probably going to reveal it or something or they're going to keep it as a mystery like that that's also another <laughs> way of doing this because i remember like you know when i watched naruto like everyone was like oh <laughs> what's under kakashi's mask and then <laughs> when like you know the anime almost like ended and everything they, there's like this one episode where they showed what was under kakashi's mask <laughs> who knows maybe something like that but yeah like we should not like you know think much about that like uh just like everyone calls her a she like tadan and everyone like we're also going to call her a, a she but her gender is ambiguous no one knows okay so then like you know like uh we see them having fun and Komi was like, you know, coming out and everyone's like, you know, looking at Komi and they're like, ah, oh, 100 million points, which is understandable. Like, you know, <laughs> okay. And then like the whole thing with the water slide, everyone's like, oh, I'm going to slide. But, you know, Tadano grabbed the opportunity and was <laughs> just, <laughs> you know, like went with her. And it was nice seeing, seeing them having fun. Komi was like slid four more times after that. And they had little bits and pieces of contests, like, you know, holding their breaths down and all that stuff. And then Komi trips. <laughs> Komi trips and you know, she, she feels like she's inconveniencing everyone, which obviously is not the case because you know like um this everyone has came come here together to have fun so yeah but she obviously she she's not accustomed to these type of things so she's a bit um awkward and she's like yeah maybe i'm <clears throat> inconveniencing everyone and she f was a bit lonely and then the thing that najini says is quite understandable she's like we should not actually you know think much about the situation because if we like you know like fuss too much about this Komi will probably blame herself and like you know if everyone is like okay let's stop or let's not have fun anymore let's just be with Komi Komi will probably feel bad so I can understand what like you know uh, Najimi was saying but I feel like you know like Tadano coming back was also a correct decision because like you know like everyone's having fun and you're just sitting there it's kind of a bad feeling you know like like yeah like you see everyone is having fun and you're just sitting down uh, that's that's a very uh weird and a very bad thing like i I'm, I'm kind of able to relate to this because like i like you know when i was a kid and when i was at school uh we used to play at the recess you know and there was a big field we used to play uh, sports and there was a time when i broke my hand you know my hand was fractured and i was completely like you know i had it in my in a sling i was completely banned obviously from playing and that was one of the toughest times of my life because I was just in the field watching everyone playing, all of my friends playing. And I was just standing there because I cannot play. My hand is in a sling and then like, you know, like it might get even uh, worse in the situation. So that was like the worst part of my life. <laughs> I remember like all the like we had little like, you know, um, uh, sports classes as well. Uh, so like there's a lot of like you know playing we used to do like like we went to go we used to go to school play then in the recess we used to play and then in the like you know in the different classes where it was sports related we used to play a lot of playing we used to do like you know in the field so like for like i think one month i had my hand in a sling i had to tolerate everyone playing and i used to just stand around like look an idiot just looking at everyone playing and <laughs> I heavily relate with Komi because this is just one day for Komi like you know because she's just here for the first time and she's feeling like she's been left out and that that happened for me like for a one month each and every day I had to endure that and that's pretty like what can I say that's that's a pretty difficult situation like damn <laughs> 
so yeah it's nice to see that you know tadano after that you know came back and was sitting with her and he's like yeah we can still have fun and it was just a little scratch in her leg so you know like she can just as i said like she can just sit around like in you know like dipping her leg in the uh in the swimming pool or she can just walk or as like najimi did after that you know that was that was the correct decision that najimi took he she brought um uh, what are those called um those um water guns yeah water guns she brought those water guns and she started like you know she said that yeah we can play with this oh so, yeah so that komi doesn't feel left out and uh, yeah that was good and then we went back and <laughs> one thing I'm, I'm quite interested is like um the girl the kishi uh the night girl i'm really interested in what her story is like she she wears a <laughs> A mechanical arm like what is up with that like i'm quite interested i'm hopefully we get an introduction from from her soon because i'm really interested in what why she does that like why is why is one of her hands a mechanical one like i know that's not a mechanical mechanical arm that's like just a prop or something like that but still why does she wear that what's the story behind it <laughs> hopefully we get acquainted to her soon but yeah, that was the pool section and then we get a little bit of section with the dad and Komi where both of them are kind of the same. Both of them don't don't talk much while everyone kind of like, you know, looks at them and like I feel like everyone in her family is <laughs> like Komi's mom is very, what can I say, like uh, gorgeous while the dad as well. So like I feel like everyone in her family is like someone like this. like. Whenever they go out, everyone kind of looks like them. Like, oh, who is this heavenly being descended to this mortal world? Something like that. That's the, um, I guess, reaction everyone gives them. And they feel uh, like, I, I, I guess the dad also probably feels a little bit awkward. And that's why he's so, you know, like shy and doesn't talk much. But, but she's like, you know, he's, he's, Obviously, he's a bit better than Komi because he can actually talk and he, he's, he talked with her daughter. But I wonder what he does, you know, in, her, in his job and everything. Like, is he like this always like quiet, doesn't talk or anything? Like, maybe, maybe in future we'll get an episode revolving around his dad, you know, like see what he does. <laughs> oh, boy. So... Yeah, anyways, okay, so yeah, like then they get like shaved ice cream and you know, the dad kind of asks Komi like, yeah, how school and she kind of jokes around a little bit in her own way. <laughs> and the dad is like, okay, she is having fun. <clears throat> and yeah, that was like a nice section. And then they like, you know, he she goes to the library everyone's in awe looking at her like oh my god who is she what's a goddess doing here <laughs> then the little kid kind of gets afraid looking at komi the way komi stares at you like damn <laughs> but then everything goes okay komi kind of smiles and yeah like everything is fine after that and tadano in complete co coincidence he's there but you know what yeah he as he said like you know i saw a rare sight and that's his win but unfortunately he he forgot to return the book which which kind of helps you know in the long run because the next scene <laughs> the next scene when komi is going back she goes to the park kind of swings around and everything while tadano goes back to return the book because he's forgotten and that's why i said you know like it works out well in the longer run because if he did not forget the book before, he wouldn't have come here again. So he comes here again, he again sees a rare sight and he's like, yeah, this is good. But unfortunately he forgets, forgets the book again. So yeah, that's a miss. Okay, like looking at the whole section with the you know um, playground kind of reminded me of a lot of things in my childhood as well. When, you know, like when I, like, when I was quite small, like by quite small, I mean very small. I was like four or five years old or something. Uh, like in kindergarten, there was this, these type of like, you know, swings and uh, slides and everything. 
And I remember me being so afraid of slides that I never wanted to get on top of it. I felt like I was going to fall or something. So that was like a trauma I had. I don't know where I got that trauma from, but I got it from somewhere. I don't know why. Like, it's probably the fear for the unknown because I never really slid on a slide. And I was also scared of, what do you call them? Jungle gyms? Yeah, jungle gyms as well. Like, as I said, I was a little wimp when I was a child. Like, I, I used to see, like, all the, my friends were, like, playing in the jungle gym, sliding, and I was just standing around. Either I was on the seesaw or on the swing. So, yeah, that was just me. And then I remember there was one time when <laughs> I was forcefully, <laughs> forcefully <laughs> put on the slide. And I had to slide at that moment because I was forcefully, like, you know, I had to, I was sit on. And then I slid for the first time and I was like, damn, this is quite fun. And then I remember like all my fear just went away and I used to slide each and every time. Like whenever I went to the playground, I used to slide. Like that became my main thing. But no, the jungle gym, I never did it. I don't know why. I was probably scared of the height or something. But that's how I overcame my trauma or whatever you call that on a slide. And as they say, like, you know, this is, this is called the fear of the unknown because I never knew what it is. And as soon as I tried it out, the slide, I was like, damn, this is quite fun. Like, why the hell was I even scared about? So <laughs> just something that I remember, like, you know, looking at this episode, the final section while Komi was having fun sliding and swinging around, I kind of get, got reminded of something from my past. So yeah, happy times when we had no concerns about anything we used to just joke around play around but yeah becoming <laughs> growing up is pretty bad you know it's it's pretty um <laughs> my god yeah i'm going into a different territory like i'll stop now but yeah that was it that was my reaction to komi can't communicate episode number seven um so yeah like um, i guess they are friends now in a way acquaintances you can probably call them so yeah good for komi like you know like she has a few good friends and few friends who were just acquaintance kind of so friend of friends so hopefully she'll get acquainted with them in the future we'll see so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to komi can't communicate episode number seven so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of komi can't communicate until then goodbye and have a nice day